Is snowfall more likely to close a school than rockfall? Well, that's what Redcliffe's school is saying in a last-ditch effort to keep the school open. Submissions to the Ministry of Education to save the popular primary school close at the end of this week. More than 2,000 submissions are demanding the school remains open. Here's Jared McCulloch. It's been a waiting game for the community of Redcliffe's, but the deadline for submissions are only days from closing. Back in March this year, Education Minister Hikia Plurata extended the consultation period saying the Christchurch School may close. Based on all the geotechnical, all the modelling um, results that I'm initiating consultation to propose closure of Redcliffe School. They were forced to move from their original site in June 2011 after the earthquakes caused severe damage to land and rockfall risk from the cliff above. Now they're operating out of the Van Ash Education Centre, a few kilometres around the bay in Sumner. A number of geotechnical reports suggest the site could be safe if some of the buildings were moved forward and away from the cliff face. It points to the fact that the cliff continues to degrade, that there will be further rock falls. The reports do um, uh, state that if the school is moved forward and a mechanised bund of just over four metres is erected, that it will provide safety. However, she says there could be a possibility of relocating the school again if the cliff face continues to degrade. Redcliffe's principal Kim Alexander believes the extra time has allowed the school's board to further evaluate the site and she says it will provide more evidence that the site is safe. When we show the minister that it's um, you know, really the right thing to do for us to go back there, um, then it, there's going to need a little bit of time to plan um, so the site is the best it can be. So that's going to take a wee while, but I think there'll just be such a feeling of positivity um, at that point. The school has had a number of events to raise support from the community and afar, with many sending in their own submissions to the Minister. They're a community that understands rockfall and all of those things very well. Um, and uh, plus then the extra geotech uh, report we've had done and the evidence uh, with that. The school's been working hard to do the best job possible to try and get their site back. The board has had uh, a couple of um, evenings with parents. Um, lots of communication through our Facebook page. So really it's been about communication with, with our community and even wider than that. And although it's been a waiting game for the parents, staff and students, the fight has continued and is still strong. Hope definitely hasn't faded. Um, if anything, it's, it's kind of, uh, obviously, on the, you know, it was a bit of a shock at first on the 23rd of March, um, but the strength of the community um, just shows their, their real determination. But she says it's been a good step for the school. We always knew that that would make things feel as though it was sort of being dragged out for longer but then to get the expert evidence that was required to address the minister's concerns we knew that we needed the extra time for that and I think the community completely understands that. Submissions close this Wednesday the 1st of July and then it's another wait for the minister's final decision which is expected in August. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.